Season of the Deep is just a few days away, and before that goes live, I want to make sure you've claimed all your loot and are well prepared for the new fun. So let's get started. Make sure you've leveled up your Season Pass for Season of Defiance, as come next week, you'll no longer be able to. For Season Pass owners, try to hit rank 100 to claim those hordes of upgrade materials, bright dust, as well as those fancy ornaments. Players that are starting the season late or are free to play, try to hit rank 35 so you can get the Virglog Curve Exotic Stasis Bow, as it is pretty amazing for ad clear and champions. If you want to prep for next season, don't claim those exotic Ingrams from the past. Destiny is getting exotic armor focusing next season, and those Ingrams might work to help get you what you want. To claim those Ingrams later, or any rewards, head to Bungie's website, log in, and click the Season Progress menu. There you can look at the active and prior seasons pass and claim rewards. This is also a reminder to claim those items from Season of the Seraph as you won't be able to claim them come next week. Besides the pass, complete and claim those seasonal challenges. Great sources of XP if you're still trying to level your pass last minute, but mainly they are excellent sources of Bright Dust, netting you about 10,000. So just focus on those easy challenges that give dust if you like to buy stuff from Eververse without opening your wallet. The main items to claim are Ingrams and Rank Rewards from nearly all the vendors. With a new season, all vendors except Xur, Finch, and Nimbus get reset. So you'll lose all unclaimed loot. If you don't want anything from those vendors, still claim the Ingrams for easy and free legendary shards. Since it is double reputation for the core playlist, this last week is great to finish their rewards track as well as reset them again so their weapons drop with multiple perks. And speaking of weapons, a few are leaving the active loot pools. For the case of Nightfalls and Trials, Mindbender's Ambition, Malicious Birthright, the Inquisitor, and Whistler's Whim are leaving. But don't worry, you'll still be able to obtain them through the legacy focusing menus at Zavala and Sate 14. However, if you have them unlocked and the engrams, it's better to focus them now rather than later, as when they are legacy items, they will cost two engrams to focus as opposed to one. Additionally, the Rose Hand Cannon from the competitive PvP playlist is leaving and being replaced with a sniper next season. To get a last minute roll of this unique lightweight hand cannon, dive in to complete the initial quest or your weekly three competitive matches. This is also the final week of the Guardian Games seasonal event, so make sure you claim all your triumphs, bank all your medals, and finish the quest to earn those god roll weapons and air apparent. Short on time, just 15 minutes will get you great rolls of the scout and SMG, and a couple hours will get you the exotic machine gun and its catalyst. The event also increases all crafted weapon XP activity completion bonuses, so craft some weapons, dive into your favorite modes, and swap to them right when the activity completes. Additionally, finish up those triumphs, titles, and gilding as the seasonal gilding will reset and you'll have to wait a year to earn the champ and reveler title. Don't worry, Defiances, Lightfalls, and Root of Nightmares titles will still be earnable throughout the year, so tackle at your own leisure. What will expire is the ability to purchase items from the Bungie store based on certain accolades from this past season, like earning those various titles and Guardian Games triumphs. Owners of the Lightfall Plus Annual Pass Edition, make sure you claim all of Rahul's secret stash, as that will get refreshed next season. And for those loving fashion, make sure you complete all of 801's armor synthesis bounties. You can only complete 10 a season per character, so if you're like me and want to look good but always forget about them, this is your final reminder. To quickly grind them out, I recommend the Raiden Dungeon Bounty, as those just require orbs or certain kills in those activities, which can be done solo and free to play. Alright, you claimed all your loot, how about last minute prep? The highest priority I'd give would be to the Spire of the Watcher dungeon loot. Season of the Deep launches a new dungeon, which means Spire will no longer be continuously farmable or have the master mode always available. You'll have to wait for it to be the weekly focused dungeon. So if there's a specific weapon you want or triumphs to complete, I'd do them now. Then make sure you go through your loot, clean out your vault, and make some builds. Otherwise you could prep bounties for XP, artifice armor from the Grasp of Avarice dungeon, or ascendant allies for enhanced weapon perks. I personally advise against it. You don't need XP since the power level isn't increasing and the seasonal challenges will give you a ton if you complete them. There is a new dungeon, so if you want artifice armor and new loot, do that. And you don't need enhanced perks. Simply put, don't burn yourself out right before the new content. Just log in to claim your ingrams and loot, complete some last minute challenges and triumphs, make some room in your vault for the new goodies, then take a break and come back refreshed for next week. If there was something I missed or if you have other tips for your fellow guardians, leave them down in the comments. And if you found this reminder guide useful, then a like and subscribe is always appreciated. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield.